Hello, my name is Grant Johnson from Red News, and I will be talking about the world news for today. And for right now, I'm just going to be talking about one situation that's really become a, it will most likely become a crisis in Europe or for other regions of the world. You see, the war or the armed conflict in uh, Sudan is still raging between the RSF and the uh, Sudanese military, which not too long ago when the conflict had started, uh, President Joe Biden had immediately announced that the um, embassy workers working at the U.S. Embassy would be retrieved from, uh, from the conflict. And when the United States announced it, the rest of the world had said they're going to pull out their embassy workers and the uh, citizens who were trapped over in Sudan, which the conflict is still raging as we speak between the RSF and the Sudanese military, which a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, citizens from that uh, from the country have been fleeing to to uh, Egypt and the neighboring countries that are near Sudan, which it might become a uh, refugee crisis because of the uh, unlivable conditions that have been fostered through the, the armed conflict, which the UN has been providing resources to the people but the resources can only get you so far. And if the conflict doesn't improve, we might have a, a, uh, another war in Africa, unfortunately. And through war, you do get refugees. And based on how Europe reacted when the, uh, when the uh, refugee crisis happened in 2015, when a lot of Arab and uh, people from Africa were fleeing conflict on uh, in their countries and in their continents and everything, it it may more may uh, stir more nationalist uh, nationalistic uh, sentiment from their uh, countries and everything, which. Only time will really tell what the uh, what the future of Sudan will look like, but so far it doesn't look like it's going to get better anytime soon. And only time will really tell. I think for a lot of things that time is the only one who can really reveal things when it comes to uh, conflicts that will seemingly last for a long time, eventually those types of things do come to an end. Either it's a peaceful resolution or one comes out on top. So uh, thank you for uh, watching the video and everything. If you do uh, like what you're seeing, please consider uh, giving us a follow and everything else of that nature. Until uh, next time, I am uh, Grant, Grant Johnson from Red News, and uh, please take care.